Welcome back. Cuba is still in a crisis after back-to-back -back nationwide blackouts were sparked by power grid failures. The blowout has left millions again in the dark. George Solis has the latest. Tonight, Cuba is a country in crisis. At least 10 million across the communist nation without power for the second time in 24 hours after one of the island's major power plants failed on Friday. The blackout putting angry residents closer to the brink of catastrophe amid repression and already growing shortages of clean water, fuel and food. Because there is no one who can stand this, says this visibly frustrated resident. Regime officials blaming the problem on aging, crumbling infrastructure, already the source of regular rolling blackouts across the island and on a shortage of fuel imports. The outrage pouring onto streets. <laughs> the chance of, we want electricity. The government declaring an emergency shutdown in a last ditch effort to conserve what little energy was left. This is a fatal blow of the failed policies, the failures of the Cuban regime on the Cuban people. Amalia Dace is a scholar of the Cuban experience at the University of Pennsylvania. Is there any reason to believe that the Cuban government is going to be able to resolve this issue? No, I don't think they're going to be able to resolve the issue. I believe they're going to continue to blame the United States for its problems as it's done for the last 65 years. Cuba's president has vowed there won't be any rest until the power is back on. But a new hurricane on the horizon expected to hit Cuba tomorrow could only deepen this disaster. George Solis, NBC News. Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, Bahashem, or Kakwadash. That's giving all praise to the Most High, and it was only begotten Son. In the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to our teachers, the elders, and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity. Peace and salutations to the hopeful, like scattered abroad. And as you just seen in that little clip, man, all right, in the spiritual, because that clip, uh, it was a minute and 44 seconds. All right, but they're showing you how Cuba is out of power. All right, the whole island of Cuba, over 10 million people have no power, no electricity. And um, they're saying that it's America's fault, which if you have the spiritual eyes to see and ears to hear, we know this is you know just a precursor of what's coming to America. And they're also saying that they don't see, uh, um, you know, an end in sight. You know, they don't they don't see them being able to turn the lights back on no time soon. And it's already been, you know, what, three, four days already. Without no electricity, people are getting upset. People starting to protest in the streets. But like I said, this is coming to America, man. All right, this is coming to America in, in the worst way. And this is why the prophets have been out here warning you. Starting when I had elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down to repent and come back to you how about Shai, because there's going to come a day where they're going to shut this place down. All right, they're going to shut this place down. And Cuba's already experiencing it. They told you um, right on the cusp of a hurricane coming. All right, so when you got a terrible storm like that coming, um in the midst of you know already having no power the, then you really can't even you know prepare you know it, it, it's just all bad but this right here just goes to show you the time that we're in and really these devils are going to come down upon all people like this right here man especially you jakes which cuba um the, the 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 cubans are israelites all right from the tribe of manessa all right so you got to repent and come back to hell by shimel shai let's just grab a few scriptures it's the second ezra chapter six Verse 22, it says, And suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown. The full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty. And this is the time we're in where a lot of these stores are going to be found empty. You know, no more gas, no more electricity, no more, no more none of that, man. Everything is going to shut down. And we saw a little piece of that down here in Florida when the Hurricane Milton came through. And, and, and Hurricane Helene, too, but more so Hurricane Milton that tore right through, you know, Florida. And um, people was, you know, freaking out. People was all, you know, up in arms. But you had, you know, people in, in Florida down here that had no power for at least a week. Some people for more than a week had no power, man. And I remember going to the store, you know, you had uh, the grocery store Publix. I guess they opened up. They had a generator. All right. But you had when, you, when I walked into the store, everybody was sitting inside the store, you know, um, by, by like the by like the front entrance where all the buggies are. They were all sitting up there charging their phones all right it was up there charging their phones man so when the time of chaos and crisis comes a lot of people are going to be be uh you know pretty much destitute man there is going to be no more phones okay it says and the trumpet shall give a sound which when every man heareth they shall be suddenly afraid people are going to be afraid when they understand what's really coming all right and we already been blowing the trumpet 
you know, for years, our, our elders and apostles, decades, been blowing his trumpet, but nobody's taking heed now. So when it when 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 it come to pass and it's, you know, in your face, that's when people are gonna want to start, you know, considering. All right. So now's the time to wake up and, and snap out of it. You know, come back until, you know, uh, understanding what times what times we are in. It says, and at that time shall friends fight one against another like enemies. And the earth shall stand in fear with those that dwell therein. The springs of the fountain shall stand still, and in three hours they shall not run. And when the lights go off, hey, you find out, you know, how, uh, how, um, how uh, weak uh, uh, your infrastructure is, all right? <laughs> Especially when they ain't coming back on. You know, er everything takes a stop. There's no more, you know, for certain people, the, hey, well, after a while, if the lights go on out, the water's going to stop running. All right. And then there's going to be no food or water coming in and it's going to just be all bad, man. All right. And we saw that here for for for, you know, for a week. You know, some roads are still underwater. All right. Houses were underwater. Businesses were underwater. All right. But they had no power. You know, they, they had to use generators to keep, keep on the streetlights. So imagine what's coming to, you know, America. It's already happening over there in Cuba. It says, whosoever remains from all these that I have told thee shall escape and see my salvation and the end of your world. So this world as we know it is coming to an end. We're about to see the end of this world as we know it, man. All right. And this is why the Lord told us to come out there and warn you. Let me grab this right here, too, because whenever you have. um, Which which we've seen that down here, two people was, you know, it was reports of people um, pretty much, you know, saying how. uh, People was, was pretty much saying how, um, you know, their houses were, were or people was, you know, Riding around uh, uh, looking for, for uh, generators. All right. Let me see. One second. I don't know why it's not letting me. Okay, there we go. People was riding around looking for houses with, with, with generators. All right. And looking to break in somebody's house. So you imagine, you know, if this goes on, um, you know, long. Yeah, so people are going to react the same way, man. Okay, and worse. It says, um. Second Ezra chapter six, chapter sixteen, verse uh, thirty-one. It says, "Even so, in those days, there shall be three or four left by them that search their houses with the sword. People gonna be breaking in your house with, with uh, guns, you know, knives, blades, screwdrivers, hammers. Okay, looking to do harm. It says, and the earth shall be laid waste, and the fields of thereof shall wax old." And her ways and her ways and all her paths shall grow full of thorns because no man shall, shall travel there through. So pretty much the society is going to break down. All right. Chaos is, you know, about chaos is imminent. OK. And everybody can really feel it. But, you know, you people got going to have to see it to believe it. All right. It says uh, verse 37. The plagues drawn, behold, the plagues draw nigh and are, are not slack, are and are not slack. So these plagues are drawing nigh, man, and we see it. Verse 39, even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn. Sorrow shall come upon it on every side. And my people, hear my word, make you ready to, that, to thy battle, and in those evils, bad times, be even as pilgrims upon the earth. Because you're going to have to, you know, you might have to leave, you might have to leave your home, all right? Uh, out of you know people trying to break into your house and stuff we in this time man going to matthew chapter 24 verse uh 21 in nlt it says for there will be greater anguish than at any time since the world began even like it since the world began and it will never be so great again we're coming into a time works at any time in history okay it says in fact unless the time of calamity is shortened not a single person will survive but it will be shortened for the sake of the most high chosen ones, you see. So if the Lord don't speed up the times and get us up out of here soon, nobody's going to survive. And that's why you're going to see great death and destruction in these last days. Okay? We're going to see it, man. All right? You're going to hear it. You're going to hear screams. People, you know, terrified, you know, getting, you know, uh, brutalized. Scriptures of Christ should be heard from their houses. You're going to hear a, a bunch, you know, glass breaking, you know. Imagine the lights go out for a week and you you sleeping in your bed all one room with your family, and all you hear is glass breaking in you know in in the other room, and you know somebody's trying to come into your house. That's the time we're, we're coming into, man. You better pray to your whole Shai and pray and seek mercy, 
you know, if you know what's good for you. But that's the point. With that being said, I'm going to say Shadow Wom Kama Shirala about the ball. So Cuba is completely out of power, like the entire island, 10 million people without power. Now, I'm not one to jump to conclusions, but usually before something big happens in America, it's like they try to do like a little trial run in a smaller country. They do it with the monetary system. They do it with um, different military exercises and different things all throughout history. You can look them up. My curious curiosity i guess should be a better way to say it um like maybe this is a a run through for to see how the whole country of cuba is going to act for a couple of weeks without power as preparation to see how we would react i don't know maybe maybe not still pretty crazy 10 million people without power the entire island of cuba and they're blaming the united states so we'll see